Go on, get them, get them, get them. Come on. So hi everyone. I thought I'd add a quick Micmac mailbag segment in uh, because I got this just before Christmas. So let's crack it open and see what it is. So I'm actually looking forward to this one. Uh, this is something they've really needed for some time. So this is the uh, Add-on Star uh, microscope. It's actually an HDMI microscope and the reason why I wanted to get one uh, is because I'm doing a lot more SMD work these days and in a lot of my reviews there's a lot of uh, detailed photos that I'll be able to take. Uh, so this came from Banggood and they sent me a power adapter which is nice. So there's several reasons why I wanted to get this one. Uh, one of my mates, Keen, uh, from Keen Electronics, uh, had one and I was sold on it. This one has inbuilt lights, it's got its own little stand, which I think some people were replacing because uh, it's a little bit flimsy, but it does the job, you know. So it's an all-in-one unit with its own inbuilt screen, but it also has HDMI out uh, and also SD recording. So on the website they say it goes up to 300 times magnification but they also say there's a four times magnification so I guess it's that sort of equates to 75 times. Now if you look at the EEV blog forums there's a lot of comments there about this particular unit saying it's actually a repurposed dash cam or crash cam for your vehicle. They've gone and added a microscope and lens onto it so since it's a fixed lens you can't change it out to something with a higher magnification uh, but let's set it up and see what it looks like. So this uh, power adapter is a 5 volt, 2 amp jobby, um, so you could probably use anything I guess. Okay, what can we look at then? So I've got an Arduino Leonardo. I mean that's pretty decent. Yeah, it's, I mean it's fairly decent for doing SMD work. Yes. So I can see why people want to replace the stand. This uh, stand is just a bit, a little bit dodgy, but yeah, hey, it does the job. It holds the uh, magnifier in place. Yeah, it's that's really dodgy. So this is pretty close. Where are we up to? Where's focus? Focus. I mean, it's not terribly good focus and it's sort of a bit grainy in places okay that's better so it looks to be that's the closest you can get it and it's pretty decent I mean it's for two three hundred bucks Australian uh, that's pretty good and really for fine detailed uh, SMD work uh, you can't go past this one really uh, so what does an LED matrix array look like Nice. I mean, that's pretty good. You can see the uh, all the connections of the LED. That's nice. Um, you can even see the circuit on it, a little bit of silicon. So look, uh, for the price, I reckon uh, bang for buck is pretty good. Let's uh, try it, the SD recording. So I've got a 32 gig SD card here. And now it's just a matter of figuring out the interface. Oh, microphone. Okay, excellent. What does that do? Lock. Excellent. Okay, apparently I've locked it. I've taken a photo. My first photo. Oh. Oh, okay. Digital zoom. Okay, great. Uh, these interfaces are always so dodgy, aren't they? Okay, I think I've sort of figured it out a little bit. Let me zoom in. There's two buttons on the left-hand side which by default they'll go up and down in uh, digital zoom. If you press the middle button, 
goes to a menu which you can scroll up and down using the top and bottom. You can enter into a particular menu, not by pressing that button, I keep mixing them up. You enter into a particular menu by pressing the top right button um, and then you can scroll up and down, change your settings, whatever you want, um, then press that top right button again and you can exit out of the menu using that. So that's a basic menu, but then you've got this one, the top right, which takes a photo. Um, that one, which does, I have no idea what it does. It comes up with a, an error saying picture error. That one does some sort of crazy lock thing. And this one turns a microphone on and off. And there you go. Pretty easy, eh? I think. I'm getting this picture error whenever I press the second top right button. On Keen's one that he has, when you press this second button from the top on the right, um, it alternates between taking pictures and recording video, uh, but for some reason my particular model can't take video. It doesn't really matter because what I'm doing is I'm feeding this uh, HDMI signal out to Elgato HD60, which records uh, HDMI anyway, so I don't really care. It's a pretty decent little uh, microscope and it's going to be absolutely fabulous for me. You can see a lot of detail. Um, I don't really have any complaints about it except for uh, this stand is a little bit dodgy. Um, it's just too sort of rickety. But uh, if you keep it in the one spot, I guess it's it does the job. And these little LED lights are pretty cool. Um, they help you see a lot of things uh, fairly clearly. So if you want to support me um, and you want to buy one of these, you can um, click on the link I've added in the description below. Some of the affiliate proceeds will go to me. So that's a very short Micmac mail segment. And there's also a weekly roundup, which I'll be publishing. Thanks for watching. See you next week.